What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building. I just want to make a quick video. I seen this uh, Michael Parsons video yesterday on his, his podcast and talking about George Kittle um, saying that, you know, George Kittle said, you know, F Dallas, which I ain't mad at that. F the Niners. You feel me? You know, F you, F, F us, F you. You feel me? That's how I feel about the Niners. I don't like the Niners. I got healthy respect for them, but I do not like the Niners. That's one of my most hated teams. That's a big time rival. And I'm going to just keep it real. Michael Parsons, you're the leader of this defense, I believe. Um, I think you're the leader of this defense. I, 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 Demarcus Lawrence was might have been the guy that's outspoken, but I'm looking at Michael Parsons as the leader because he's came in and dominated. He's changed his defense. He's been the face of this defense. He's talking all the time in the media. So I'm like, you know what? You need to be the leader because you're one of the most dominant players on the team, if not one of the dominant players in the NFL. So, I mean, just listening to Micah when he was talking about, um, you know, you know, I'm friends with George Kittle. I didn't know he didn't have to get that personal with it. But if we're going to get that personal, then okay, then laugh now and cry later. I ain't going to lie. And he basically was saying, in my opinion, that he didn't know the extent of the rivalry. Like, we're going to give it to you next time you see it. Laugh now, cry later. I mean, you should have been know this, dog. You with the Dallas Cowboys, you so you should know the history of the Niners and the Cowboys. And they already whipped you twice. They whipped you. They whipped you. Well, they didn't whip you twice. They, we, we, they whipped us the first time in 2021. We banged with them the next year, okay? But that's two L's. And you said you wanted revenge. You said you marked this team on the calendar like you. This was, this was the game that meant a lot to you, other people, and you got molly whopped, and you was really nowhere to be seen. And then after the game, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I know it's social media now. It's 2023, 2024. It's social media. You can re reach out and touch the players now. You know, you can speak to the players now. Before, you could never do that back in my day. I'm 51 years old. You could never do that back in the day. You had to watch Sports Center. You couldn't reach out and touch the athletes like you can now. You can't tag them and, and send a crazy tweet to them and they'll respond to you. A lot of people like doing that now. So I totally get the social media thing. But I don't get the jersey swapping, especially after you got stomped 42 to 10. I don't get that. And if you're the leader, I just don't feel like that's what you want to show. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not what you want to show, in my opinion. And after the game, you know, they had them in the locker room, and they're like, you know, what's going on with the defensive line? You guys couldn't get home. You know, what, what's going on with that? Micah's answer was, you know, hey, I play on the edge, you know, so – I can only say, well, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do my job. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Um, you know, I can't really speak for anybody else that's on that line. You know, I can't speak for them. And I know what he was coming from was, you know, I, I can't tell you what they're doing. You know, they gotta, they gotta handle their business. I don't want to put throw them under the bus or anything like that. I know I, I'm rushing a passer. Um, and then, you know, he says that, you know, I'm not convinced the Niners are better than us. Really, they done smacked y'all three times. Line for line, you're saying, oh, we got as much talent as them, do we? I don't know because they smacked us, dog. They just humiliated us. You feel me? It wasn't even close. Y'all said y'all was anticipating this game and got smacked down. You feel me? So, and then he said, and also in the media, that, you know, um, I don't still don't think they're better than us. We beat ourselves. And, you know, sometimes you got to thank something like this. You got to thank for something like this happened to you. To me, and I love Micah, so please don't nobody get this a twisted. I love Micah Parsons. I love what he brings to the table, everything. But if you're the leader of this defense, that's not leadership. Not in my opinion. You got to show better leadership, in my opinion, to this team, to this defense, everything. Uh, because you're becoming the face of this organization. You got your podcast. And my thing is, you know, these players, they don't want nobody saying nothing about them. They don't want nobody talking about them. You know, they feel like it's disrespectful. Then you shouldn't have Twitter or you shouldn't have a show. Because if you have Twitter, you're going to get bullets. Because people are going to talk reckless on Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I hate Twitter. If I didn't have to have this damn sports, I'd get rid of Twitter. I don't like it. But you players that have Twitter, stop, stop whining. Stop saying stuff about people on Twitter that you hate. Then don't have Twitter because people are going to talk crazy. 
and Micah, they're going to talk crazy to you. They're going to hate on you for this podcast. They're going to hate on for you talking. That, that's what's going to happen. And in my opinion, if you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. And you can't come with excuses after you get your ass handed to you because that's what happened to Dallas. And I just felt like all I heard was excuses from Micah. Instead of, in my opinion, my opinion, when they put that mic in your face, you should, yeah, we got smack. I'm the leader of this defense. And I first, I'm, I'm going to put it on me. I got to get better. I didn't play the game I should have played. I should have brought it more. And we got to bring it more. Everybody from myself to everybody down on this defense, we got to step our game up. We got to stop talking that talk and ain't walking it. If we're going to talk it, we need to walk it. So we need to go out there and handle our business. Because Dan Quinn said in that Arizona game, he didn't like how everybody was playing, not fighting for the ball. Micah said, we got that fixed. Don't worry about it. I said, mm, okay, you played the Patriots. Of course, you're going to have it fixed against Mac Jones. He ain't a good quarterback right now, and that team ain't a good team. So, of course, you're going to jump back and fix it. You No, where you fix it is when you fix it against these top teams. You fix it when you're playing the San Francisco 49ers who've been smacking you the last couple of years. That's when you fix it. That's when you show up. You don't show up and have nine pressures against the New England Patriots. They ain't no good. And you only got two pressures against one of the top teams in the league. You feel me? So when these dog teams come in, when you get ready to play these Miami Dolphins, when you get ready to play them Buffalo Bills, when you get ready to play them Philadelphia Eagles, when you get ready to play them Seattle Seahawks, when you get ready to play them uh, Detroit Lions, that's when you're going to have to bring it, and that's when that line's going to have to come out. So for me, I just don't want to hear the excuses from them. I want to hear the stand-upness. I want to hear that we got to get it together because we're three and two. And we can't let these charges beat us, okay? We got to get back in the lab, and we need to handle our business. And it's it's one game, uh, it's one it's one game a week now. It's not we got the best team. We got the this defense is special because that's what I heard Michael Parsons say. This defense was special after week one when they smacked them Giants. He said this was a special defense. It don't look special after you got handled by the Cardinals, and it was a defensive fault, and you got handled by the Niners, and the defense was to blame. Dan Quinn to blame on the scheme and the players. And if you're the dog on the team, and if you're one of the best in the league, you got to show it all the time. It can't be when you're just playing these weak teams. It can't just be playing when you're playing the Giants and the Patriots and the Jets' offensive scheme. You got to be able to dominate these dogs. And Brock Purdy been 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 doing us in. And Micah, you my dog, but you was nowhere to be found. And you got other games where – you're going to be counted on to be the man. So in my opinion, you got to show more leadership to the team. You got to be more stand up. You got to put more on yourself. You can't say, well, I'm doing my job. I don't know what's going on. You can't do that as the leader. I'm doing my job. I don't know what's up. That's not the leader. Um, in my opinion, that's not the leadership. Uh, it's not the leader when you're saying we beat ourselves. We didn't beat ourselves. We got beat. We got our butts kicked. And you got to be able to acknowledge that and say, we got our butts kicked. Let's move on. Yes, uh, this, this is three times. We got to stop this. We got to stop it now. And I didn't hear none of that. I just heard a lot of excuses and deflecting. And if you're going to be the leader of this team, in my opinion, and this defense, and you're one of the best players in this league, you got to show it verbally all the time. Not just in the victories. You got to show it in the losses. And the team's got to be able to see it from you. Okay? And I know you go hard in the paint. I know you practice hard. I know you train hard. I know you go hard. But you got to verbally go hard for the media, for your team. And you got to take it upon yourself. And I know people may not want to hear it. And people may, oh, I don't want to hear that right now. But you taking it to yourself saying, I got to get better. I, I, And there ain't no excuse for this. There ain't no excuse for this. We got to stop this and we got to stop it now because if we're trying to go to a championship, if we're trying to go to a Super Bowl, like I'm always screaming and proclaiming, then we got to get better now. And it starts with me and there ain't no more excuses for this. And we got to stop the talking and we got to handle our business because if we're going to talk it, we got to walk it. And that's what I want to hear from Michael Parsons, just from me because I'm old school. So that's just my quick thoughts. We got these Chargers up next. It's the Kellen Moore Bowl. My birthday's on Sunday. They play on Monday, and we cannot absolutely lose to these Chargers because, boy, it's going to be hell to pay. And it's, <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even want to listen to the media if, we, if that happens. So, Micah, get on this defense, dog, and get on yourself. Step up and be that leader I know you can be all the time. Big game, James. I'm out. Peace.